Hey, what's up guys? Radku here, back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Um, today's just gonna be a quick one. Um, I'm doing an overview of what I think the best structure decks to get for $10 are. So the thing is that we have a lot of super broken structure decks, whether it be Soul Burner, whether it be any of the really, really expensive ones that have seen a ton of competitive play, we still have the problem that n um, budget players are still going to be cropped out of that because as the structure decks start seeing more play, the um, price of it goes up. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going over the my top five list of the uh, best $10 structure decks to buy three and go are. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Starting things off at number five, we have structure deck, starter deck code breaker. Now, normally I'd do the power code uh, starter deck, but that one just got up to $15 because of the lady debug reprint. That one is also very good, but it's very, very similar to this. So like in there are three structure decks, like the Decode structure deck, um, the main uh, starter deck, starter deck code breaker, and a few of the other ones. But like most of them are just based around um, starting out with link summoning. And the problem is that they're very, very similar. So I think this one has the best printings in it, especially with cards like Link Karibo. It has Transcode Talker, which Transcode is actually seeing a healthy amount of competitive play. Um, I think this is your best, the best bang for your buck when you get a $30 build. And that's why it comes in at number five. Coming in at number four, we have the Hero Strike Structure Deck. Now, the reason I say this is because this one comes with Dark Law. I wouldn't be saying it if it didn't come with Dark Law. Dark Law is one of the best cards, and it single-handedly makes Heroes a very viable deck. Um, I really think this is your like one of your best options when it comes to a $10 build, because this thing has been printed to the moon and back like seriously there are so many printings of this structure deck you're almost always going to be able to get it for 10 bucks and I, I actually have a build for it um in my channel somewhere it was a while ago but it's still like a pretty good deck like the, despite the fact that you don't really get much of the fusion aspect of the deck you have some great cards in there that actually have seen a lot of competitive play and i really think that the hero strike structure deck is a really good one to pick up next number three on my list is a pendulum domination structure deck now i actually recently did one on this uh i did a 30 dollar profile on this it was like this deck is really really good it's a great combo deck ddds have always been that underlying un underdog for the competitive format they never really sprung up but when you play against them they can beat you down they have some of the best boss monsters in the game and really are just a very very cool deck and really the only thing you need to buy is a little bit of the extra deck and the slimes like really this structure deck is perfect to build your ddd deck and it is like one of the best options when it comes to a 30 dollar build Coming in at number two, we have the Rocket Revolt Structure Deck. Now, as you all might know, I have a bias for rockets because um, I they were my first deck that, like, my first real deck that I built. But, like, I genuinely think that three of the Rocket Revolt Structure Deck is solid for getting, for making a deck. So, going into some of the reprints, we have just Twin Twisters and... Um, red reboot which is really good but on top of that you don't even need to play a pure rocket strategy you can basically build the entire deck out of just this structure deck and still get a ton of mileage out of it now there are some cards that you might want to pick up when it comes to this but they're all really really cheap i suggest dragoonity knight romulus which uh, is a great card and picking up dragon's ravine while you're at that and i suggest picking up a um 
a copy of Striker Dragon. Now you don't really need anything else. You could pick up a Borload Savage Dragon, but that cuts a bit too much into the budget. And I really, really think that Rocket Revolt is a good deck on its own. Even just picking up a Saryuja, which is only $2 at this point, is very, very good and can really up the consistency of the deck. And I really think that the Rocket Revolt Structure Deck is a great $10 buy. Coming in at number one is Dino Smasher Fury. Now, I wouldn't be making this video if it weren't for this. Like, this actually used to be $60 per structure deck because it was that good. This is one of the most busted structure decks. I'd say it's second only to the Soul Burner structure deck, and it is phenomenal. The power that this deck packs with cards like Ultimate Conductor, Tyranno, Soul Eating Oviraptor, and Miscellaneousaurus, because seriously, have you read Misc? Um, just really throw this deck into the top tiers of competitive play. And this deck is still seeing a ton of play right now and is definitely a tier one contender. Sure, you would need to buy cards like Animador and Archosaur, but the thing is that this deck is so good, you don't even need Archosaur to make a fully competitive deck out of it. If you dip into your budget a little bit, you should be able to get a copy of True King Lithosagem or Lithosagem, the Disaster, which is a great card, despite the fact that um, True King Dinos just really isn't seeing a ton of play right now. It is still a great variant to be trying out for um, control styles and a True King of All Calamity locks. And yeah, that's why it gets my number one spot. This is single-handedly the best structure deck almost ever printed. So some honorable mentions that are a bit expensive and are just a little bit too much for um, this list are the uh, Soul Burner Structure Deck. Um, it is definitely the best Structure Deck ever printed. It's got reprints like Ash Blossom, it, which is amazing. It's got um, a Salamandrate strategy is always going to be really good just because of how adaptable it is to new uh, stuff. And... Um, Another one is the Zombie Horde Structure Deck. Now, this one was actually kind of um, like my underrated gem, but like it saw a brief glint of competitive play. But the cards in it are amazing. Some reprints are pretty good out of the deck, but that's not what makes it good. What makes it good is reprints of such expensive cards like Shiranui Solitaire, um, Glow Up Bloom, Doom King Balladrock, and so many other things that make the deck absolutely busted. And it's definitely a really good pick, but it's at the $30 threshold at this point, and I don't know if you'd really want to spend that, because I made this video just for the people who have $30 and want to go buy a deck. Um, one other one that could fit into this list that I just thought just barely didn't make it was the, um, the way... Uh, Wave of Light structure deck. That one is very good for counter fairies. I actually just got one recently. Um, it is very solid and has a really good track in mind, but the only issue is that um, it just really isn't up there in the competitive tier. It's got some great cards in it, but just really isn't at the level it needs to be in order to see that kind of play. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, let me know what you thought, and let me know if there's any other structure decks that you think I should add to this. Like some other good ones are like the Pendulum uh, Revolution structure deck with the odd eyes in it, but the only issue with that is that it's very, very expensive, almost clearing $40 to $50 per copy, and it's very, very expensive. But yeah, that's pretty much it, and I will see you in the next Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Peace, guys.